YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It is your boy, Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. It was first teased and now confirmed that for the first time ever, content from one Call of Duty game will carry forward into the next Call of Duty game. Of course, I know that content from multiple Call of Duty games have been implemented into Warzone at the exact same time. However, we have never seen content from one mainline Call of Duty title be carried forward into the next mainline Call of Duty title. This is the year where this content carry forward makes the most sense however because we are moving from modern warfare 2 into its direct sequel modern warfare 3 just one year later yesterday call of duty posted a blog detailing what content will be carried forward from modern warfare 2 to modern warfare 3 all weapons and cosmetic items including operator skins weapon blueprints emblems and more will be carried forward from modern warfare 2 into modern warfare 3 all of the content that i just described that is currently unlocked Locked or currently available for players to unlock in Modern Warfare 2 will also be available in Modern Warfare 3. All of that being said, however, there are a few caveats when it comes to what content will be carried forward from one title to the next. Some content available in Modern Warfare 2 that even fall into those previously described categories such as the cosmetics will not carry forward into Modern Warfare 3 simply due to a lack of presence of its use in Modern Warfare 3 such as a vehicle skin for a vehicle that is available in Modern Warfare 2 but will not be present in Modern Warfare 3. Furthermore, there will be no content carry back, meaning that content that is available in Modern Warfare 3 such as the Modern Warfare 3 weapons, those will not be available for use in Modern Warfare 2. It is simply a content carry forward, meaning that from the current game to the next game, not the next game back to the current game. Now one thing about the content carry forward that Call of Duty has been talking about that has been getting people a tad bit worried is that Call of Duty is doing this content carry carry forward to make up for a lack of new and exclusive content that we can expect in Modern Warfare 3. However, Call of Duty themselves have stated that they have an impressive amount of Modern Warfare 3 exclusive content planned, including weapons, operators, skins, blueprints, and more. Taking a look at Warzone, Modern Warfare 3 specific content will be available in the current iteration of Warzone at the start of Modern Warfare 3 Season 1. That being said, it is also quite possible that at the start of Modern Warfare 3 Season 1, we will also be seeing the introduction of the new Warzone map, and let's all be honest, we're just hoping for the return of Verdansk. There are a few other things that are worth noting when it comes to the content carry forward, and I will now briefly discuss those. Modern Warfare Warfare 2 base operators will only be available in Modern Warfare 3 for those players that currently own Modern Warfare 2 and have unlocked those base operators already. That being said, the default skins for these Modern Warfare 2 operators will only be present in Modern Warfare 3 if you have those operators unlocked in Modern Warfare 2 before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Now that being said, you can go ahead and unlock these operators after Modern Warfare 3 comes out and then they will be available in Modern Warfare 3. But just to be on the safe side, unlock them before Modern Warfare 3 comes out and you'll be able to use them right at launch. Now, operators unlocked in a sort of time-sensitive window in Modern Warfare 2, be it through store bundles or through the battle pass, will only be available in Modern Warfare 3 if players have unlocked those operators during that time window in Modern Warfare 2. Meaning that if there was an operator in a Modern Warfare 2 battle pass, such as Graves in the Season 5 battle pass, he will only be available in Modern Warfare 3 if you go ahead and unlock him in Modern Warfare 2 within the time frame that he is available. However, store bundle skins for all operators in Modern Warfare 2 will be available in Modern Warfare 3. So, for example, say there is an operator in Modern Warfare 2 that you do not have the base skin for, but you do have a skin for that operator through a store bought bundle, you'll be able to use that operator in Modern Warfare 3, but only with the operator skin that you have purchased. So, not only do all weapons carry forward from Modern Warfare Warfare 2 into Modern Warfare 3, but there will also be cross progression available between the two titles, meaning that you can take a Modern Warfare weapon such as the M4 Assault Rifle and level it up in Modern Warfare 3. Not only that, but Modern Warfare 2 weapon attachments that are compatible with weapons in Modern Warfare 3 will be available for you to equip to those Modern Warfare 3 weapons through the gunsmith, meaning that if you have a certain underbarrel that you like using in Modern Warfare 2, if it's compatible with a weapon in Modern Warfare 3, 
3, you're going to be able to use that underbarrel on that Modern Warfare 3 exclusive weapon. However, weapon camos unlocked through Modern Warfare 2, including those mastery camos, will not be able to be equipped to Modern Warfare 3 specific weapons. So say, for example, you have Orion unlocked. Good for you, but unfortunately, you're not going to be able to equip Orion to any Modern Warfare 3 exclusive weapons. However, that being said, you can in fact take a Modern Warfare 2 weapon into Modern Warfare 3 and complete the weapon camo challenges for that weapon. So for example, say you take the Vel 46, a Modern Warfare 2 SMG. Say that you still have challenges to unlock camos for that weapon. You can take the Vel into Modern Warfare 3, complete the camos in that title, and you will unlock those camos in Modern Warfare 3 for those Modern Warfare 2 weapons. That does include everything up to and including the orion mastery camo the content carry forward also includes skins or i suppose blueprints for those tactical and lethal equipments you see in modern warfare 2 such as the wumpa grenade unlocked through the crash bandicoot bundle in modern warfare 2 that is going to be available in modern warfare 3 as well again as long as it is compatible any bundles that are currently available in the modern warfare 2 store that includes content that will be available in modern warfare 3 will have text at the bottom of the screen indicating as much. So I had to go back and re-record just this little section because I noticed while editing that I forgot to mention this, but I did want to mention that during the Modern Warfare 3 beta, you will not be able to use any Modern Warfare 2 content. You will only be able to use Modern Warfare 3 exclusive content, which makes sense because they want you to get used to and be able to show off the content exclusive to the newest Call of Duty title. Given that this is the first time that we have seen content carry forward to this capacity in Call of Duty, this is definitely something to get excited about as we move towards the new era of Call of Duty. But yeah guys, that is effectively going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like and comment on it down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads. For even more from me, be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content. Also, for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, intel, and so much more, be sure to use the links in the description below to connect with IPC on all of our social medias as well as our website. But other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and that's been it. Peace.